Hi, so I'm back again with Hit or Miss with Casper. And today I'm going to talk to you guys about different cotton pads. Now, cotton pads have been very popular in Korea and they help with different makeup applications like such as toner, um, serum, and moisturizers. Now, when you guys apply toner, of course you can use your hands, but if you use cotton pads, it helps with evening out your skin texture and also with exfoliation. When you use cotton pads with serum and moisturizers, um, it helps with absorption and it also helps retain moisturizers within your skin for a longer amount of time. Also, I'm sure a lot of you use cotton pads for makeup removal, but it's really important to choose the right type of cotton pads for makeup removal. Or else, you get cotton, little cotton like follicles all over your eyelashes and all over your skin and it really doesn't do the job. So, so many factors come into consideration such as cotton lint, texture, price range, durability, product base, etc, etc. And today I'm going to test out a lot of popular cotton pads with you guys to see which one works the best. So let's begin. So, let me introduce you guys to the specimen. The first one is a really, really popular um, cotton pad. This is really famous for travel. Um, when you guys go traveling, let's say a lot of people, when you guys go to Japan, buy this, that sort of thing. It's really tourist popular, let's just say. This is the Siru Silcot, Silcot one and a half something cotton pad. Now, I've heard so many good ra uh, raves about this cotton pad. I've seen so many YouTubers rave about it, and I've seen a lot of blog posts on it. So I was really interested to try this out. This is the first time I'm trying it out on this test, so we'll see how this one goes. The next one is yours truly, um, the Dear Claire's Toner Chakung, which means like ton toner's best friend, um, Banban Som Half Half Two in One Cotton Pad two different type of cotton pads in it. So they have the condensed cotton pad, 60 of it, and the sponge cotton pad of 60 of it. So the next one is the soft five layer cotton sheet cotton pad um, from Misha. Now this one is just like a simple regular one. It has a little sample on the side taped to it. I don't know if that comes with every single box. And it has little instructions on the side and yeah. The next one is a personal favorite. Um, this is the White Rabbit. This isn't from a specific co cosmetic brand, to be honest. I don't think you guys can find this offline anywhere. It's an online only brand and it's just a simple cotton pad case like this. The next one is this Mimi Box cotton pad and it's really simple. It's just like a white packaging. I'm pure cotton puff. Natural, organic, Korea made, 100% pure cotton cotton pad. Find your color, love yourself. Next one is Aritam Silky Cotton Puffs, the professional silky cotton puffs. 100% cotton insides, cotton sheet combination, tintinan, strong silky cotton puff, and it has little instructions on the back, the professional silky cotton puffs. And finally, we have the Innisfree three layers cotton puff, cotton pads, 100% cotton skincare and cleansing cotton pad. And it has the price on it and a barcode and it's in this little plasticky wrap. So let's talk about the packaging. First off, there's this Japanese cotton pad. Now what I really like about it first off with the packaging is it's really slim. Um, I don't think it'll take a lot of space up in the uh, makeup counter or your makeup vanity. Even on the back, the instructions are really nicely tapered. Um, also, if you guys can see, it has this dual end to it so that after you use it, you guys can put it in so it stays secure so it doesn't open up or anything. Okay, I like it. The next one. Um, the Claire's packaging is really nice. First of all, I like the packaging that it's, um, it's, it has like this silky matte finish, but I actually like this natural feeling to it. And it has a lot of um, cotton sheets kind of pressed into it, so it doesn't take up a lot of space. So it would be really nice to just put it on the side of your vanity and take out the cotton pads. And it's really simple. Okay, the Misha one is kind of bulky. I think a, a lot of them, like the Misha one and the Aritam one and the Mimi Box one are similar, but the bulky packaging isn't my favorite, but I think it has to do with the thickness of the cotton pad as well. It's a little big. I would say this isn't the best sort of packaging. Also, the flap is a little loose, so I think this is gonna like fall out anytime soon, but not the best. Again, with the White Rabbit one, it also has the fastening thing, but it isn't the best packaging. I don't know, I, and I don't think there's anything classic or pretty about these prints on it. The Mimi Box one has the similar feel to the Claire's one, like I like the cardboard feel mm, that kind of makes it feel a little organic. I think the problem with this packaging is this flap. Um, this thing, if, if it was a lot larger, it would have been easier to get the cotton pads inside. And also it's a little too big. It's a little too big for cotton pads. 
Okay, this is the worst. In terms of packaging, I would say this is the worst because it's so big and this is like really loosely packaged, you know? I would say if they squashed it in, this could have been half. They just wasted a lot of space and made this into a big packaging. So if you were to carry this around in your makeup pouch, this would be your makeup pouch. Finally, the Innisfree one is, I don't know, I would say it has its pros and cons. So the pro would have to be that waterproof but it's really uncomfortable to have to like open this up and the string and pull out and then fasten it again and tie it up. It's kind of tedious. I don't know, I wouldn't recommend this um, for cotton pad packaging unless you guys are really kind of worried about stuff like leaking into your cotton pads. So now I'm going to do a lint test. You know how annoying it is when you are applying toner or you're removing your makeup and you get lint all over the place from your cotton pads. So let's start with the silicone one. Now the texture and the feel of this silicone one um, feels a little different from most cotton pads. So we'll see how this one turns out. So the silicone one, you get no lint, nothing. This is really good in terms of lint considering the amount of strength I'm putting into rubbing these together. I think it's because it's the sponge time and even if you see the little lints you get it's from like really rubbing it. It's I don't you can't rub this hard on your skin anyways. Now with the Claris one since you guys have two different type of cotton pads I'm going to try both of them out. So this is the um, condensed cotton pad. No lint. Oh my god guys this is so good like no lint. This is really similar to the silk cut one, the feeling. Similar to the silk cut one, you see little like flakes just from rubbing, not, no like, it's, it, it, it's not cotton lint, it's just flaking. Mm. Now with the Misha five layer cotton sheet. Okay, you guys see, look at this. These cotton lints, um, it kind of sticks onto your mascara and it pulls on your eyelashes. So you guys really have to be careful. Like I said, this is also a cotton pad that I really like. Oh, you don't get much lint. It's just like um, the follicles that kind of appear on the top is just from the rubbing, but it doesn't fall off. Do you guys see what I mean? This is really important when you guys choose your cotton pads. Clean. Guys, this one's the one that I'm worried the most about because I've had so many experience with cotton pads and these are the type that has the most lint. Oh, look at that. So you do get some cotton lint and the cotton pad does kind of fall apart, but it isn't as bad as the Misha one. Yeah. Aritam Silky Cotton Puff. This one has like a coating like protective sheet on it. So if you guys open it up, it has cotton inside. So this one's a little different, but let's try it. Oh, you don't get much, but still if you rub it, it's similar to the other ones. You do get some surface um, retention like this. I don't recommend you remove nail polish with this one though, cause it's going to rub in and bring out all that cotton inside. Last but not least, this is the Innisfree three layer cotton puff. Dang. See you guys, I think the layered ones are really bad in terms of um, the surface like falling apart. They're sticking to each other. Beware! Okay, now I'm going to do a test on strength. Now cotton pads need to be smooth and soft, but they also need to be strong enough to hold on to some sort of substance so that you guys can do whatever you guys need to do with cotton pads, right? So I'm gonna try and stretch it out and see which ones break apart the easiest and which ones hold its yeah, strength. The first one, the silk cut one. Now this one has like a little, um, what's it called? This little cut line in the middle. So I'm just gonna break that apart and let's stretch it. Okay, it breaks apart pretty easily. It's smooth. Now the Claire's one has two, like I said, so I'm gonna try both. Do you guys see this? Okay. okay, this one doesn't break apparently. Okay, I broke it, but this is really strong guys. Let's try the sponge one. I think this will be similar to the silk cut one, so let's see. So it's really similar to the silk cut one. It just breaks apart really evenly and smoothly like sponge. The next one is the Misha one. Oh, that was pretty difficult, but considering that this has five different layers, it broke apart pretty easily. And as you guys can see, it has a lot of cotton fallout. 
It isn't strongly bonded together. You guys can tell. The next one is the white rabbit one. I would say this is really similar to the Claire's one in terms of how it's printed. So um, it's really paperish. It's like like lined. So let's try. Oh, Tom Shuan. Hmm. This one breaks similarly, like paper. Do we need to test this? This is like the Misha one, but like in one layer. Don't use this to remove nail polish because you're gonna get cotton all over your fingers. Arito. Okay, I knew this would be hard. This has like strong bondings on the end too, so. Ah. This one's the three layer one, so let's see. Okay, <laughs> this has the most cotton fallout, you guys. It's like cotton. Yeah, okay. No. So the one with the least fallout is these two. Um, the one that was hard to break would be this one and these two. No, and this one was hard to break too. Strength test finished. So let's talk about price range. Now I have my um, info logistics here. It's not because I don't memorize it, but I just need the help. Um, now the silk cut one has 40 inside and it has two layers and it's 5,000 won. Now we're talking about prices in purchasing it in Korea. Next one, Claire's has 120 and it costs 5,500 won. The Misha one has 80 cotton sheets in it and it has it's co it costs 3,500 won. The White Rabbit one has 100 sheets in it and it costs 2,000 won, which makes it 221 each. Now with the White Rabbit one though, the price range is kind of like, uh, cause it's really, I don't know where you guys can purchase it. Like I purchased it on social commerce sites, but I never saw it on their official site. It's like, it's kind of, the price ranges are really different. So I think you guys have to like look it up and do some research. The Mimi Box one has 80 and it's 1,000 won. The Aritom one costs, no, has 80 sheets. It's 3,000 won making each sheet 37.51. And same with the Innisfree one, it has 80, 3,000 won, 37.51. So to make a fair test, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a drop of toner onto these cotton pads. The first one, the silk cut one. Let's see. One drop. And then I'm just going to rub it up against my hand. And as you guys can see, that was just a drop of toner and it's covering all of my hand. So as you guys can tell, um, the sponge sort of type toner works really well in terms of absorbing product without wasting it. Even now, even though I'm like done with my whole hand, I can still feel some more of the moisture coming out. Next, the clearest one. Now, since um, the this one was made for exfoliation, as you guys can see, it doesn't like leak, but it just gives like an even, even sort of texture. I think that's because this one's made for exfoliation. So it just gives like a nice clean finish. And let's try the sponge type cotton pad in the clear set. It absorbs really quickly, unlike the other one. It's more watery and it spits out more product. So you guys can tell there's a definite difference. It's really similar to the silk cut one, I would say. Next one, the Misha one. Okay, it takes a lot longer and then it kind of disappears. I can feel it, but it doesn't spit out product. You know what I mean? It's kind of holding the product inside and it leaks to the other side, which means it's really kind of like holding the product inside the cotton pad. As it absorbs the product, I think this gets firmer. So I, I don't know, it gets stronger. The White Rabbit one. I think this is going to be similar to the Claire's exfoliating one. Oh, it goes like this. Yeah, see, it's like the even type. It doesn't leak water and it just kind of evenly cleans the surface. So I think this is going to be good for exfoliation, not for mask packs, I think. It's the Mimi Box one. Ooh, little. This spits out a lot of product too. Since it's only one layer and it's pretty thin, this spits out a lot of product. It dries really fast. Next one, the Aritam one. I think this is gonna be interesting because the surface is really coated. It doesn't absorb a lot of product, but it dries really fast and it's just really, just mediocre. It's really similar to the Mimi Box um, cotton pad. Last but not least, the Innisfree one. Let's try it. It's just really soft. I don't know what to say about product waste. It absorbs to the other side and everything. Um, but I, I don't know. The only thing I say, could say about this cotton pad is it's really soft, even in terms of toner application. And it flies away really quickly too. 
So, Casper's rating in terms of hit or miss. Let's begin. Five stars. Like I said, my cult favorite, the White Rabbit Cosmetic Cotton Sheets and the Claire's Dear Claire's Toner Mate 2-in-1 Cotton Pad. These two receive five stars for me. Well, these two receive five stars for their durability, their usage, and their awesomely packaged um, exterior. And yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't think they have anything bad about anything bad to say. So five stars. The four stars, the ones that are kind of mm, good, but I can't give five stars because they're kind of eh. the silk cot and the Misha five layer cotton pad. The reason is for the silk cot one, it's good, but you guys can't use it for every single use, like for nail polish removal or for let's say eye makeup removal. I wouldn't recommend using this because it's like a waste, and also it's really I would say it's too delicate. So you go and job, it's good, but mm. and for this one, it's good because you guys get a lot of usage out of it because it has five layers. It's soft and it's affordable, but it isn't the best. It has a lot of cotton fallout and it isn't the most like premium high end cotton pads so these get four stars so the three stars the ones that's kind of mediocre is the Innisfree one I really like how soft it is and how gentle it is again with the three layers you guys can split it up and use it as a mass pack it gets a good usage but the packaging and the fallout and just overall in general it's just a so 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 product last but not least sorry to give two stars but the Mimi Box one and the Ari Tom one received two stars from me because one, they hurt. I really don't think cotton pads should hurt your skin, but these two kind of hurt my skin today. And also the packaging's really bulky. And last but not least, they have a lot of fallout. Um, so I really do not know what to say else about it. Two stars. So let me give you a little tip on using the Claire's Toner Make Cotton Pad. The sponge cotton pad is really good in retaining the substance inside. So when you guys use like a serum or a toner and you guys want to use it as a mask pack and place it on your skin, it really helps with absorption and keeping the moisture inside your skin. Also, it doesn't dry. Sometimes if you guys apply a mask pack or a serum, it dries really fast, but this one, it holds its place. So yeah, the second on using the Claire's cotton pad is using this condensed cotton pad sheet. I recommend using this as an exfoliating cotton pad. So using toners that have BHA or AHA substances and using it as like a daily exfoliator, apply toner on this and use it gently to exfoliate your skin. It softly removes ex excess makeup on your skin without hurting it and also it doesn't rip easily because it's really strong it's really eco-friendly and you don't waste products so you don't have to go out and buy cotton pads every single week or every single month depending on how often you exfoliate so thank you guys for watching this month and i hope you guys really enjoyed it i had so much fun trying out all these popular cotton pads in korea some of the products were kind of little mm, and some of them were really good and i'll talk to you guys next time in the next video if you guys have any video requests leave it down in the comments below 사랑해요